Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. This is Designs of the Week, Episode 19. And we're going to start off with the Virgin Galactic Aircraft. Alright, here it is. It actually works better than I thought. I mean, when designing I had a few problems with it. And I have the brakes on right now. But there we go. And it does look really, really awesome. As you can see, this is the part that will be decoupled. And it lifts up nice and early. As such. Obviously, I press G, track the small key base. Do that. It's more shaky than I thought. Actually, I tested this out like last month. <laughs> so it's sort of an old design for me and a new one for you guys. But I have made a video on this before on an older version of KSP. But obviously, nothing is compatible with this newer update. Or the 0 0.18 update so I'm making this again but this is the improved version of course and if I do everything right and I time it correctly uh, this ship will actually end up uh, orbiting Kerbin or this part will the rest will just you know be demolished in the atmosphere <laughs> probably we'll see how that goes but yeah and let's check the air intakes how they're going flow. The ma we actually have to worry about the flow a lot since if that decreases too much on one side and then the you know j the turbojet engine there um, flames out on one side that will make the whole ship turn and uh, you know I'll lose control of it. So right before I do that I have to figure out you know when I should decouple this part here based on the flow Oh yeah, and in 0 0.19, the uh, developers mentioned that they are going to have more frequent updates, but these updates won't be as large as the typical updates that we do receive, which is, I think it's better because, you know, I do get sick of KSP and a lot of people do as well. Okay, as you can see, the float is getting very low, so what we need to do is lower down the ship here. Just, just slightly, right, to make sure we can maximize the speed that we go at. And don't forget, this middle ship here, this part that will orbit, is actually very stable. It is stable. I was surprised when I was using it, of how stable it actually is. And we still have a, a fairly high flow. It's not decreasing as fast as before because of our angle that we are at right now, which is like 10 degrees there. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the update when the harvesters come out, so we can... Okay, we need to... We need to decouple. Alright, that was inevitable. Let's try and lift this thing up. There we go, spacebar. Let's try and control it. Come on. The first time I did this, it actually worked perfectly. Uh, right now, it's just the way it was. Alright, let's hope that can... be all fixed up. It's because we are going you know 400 meters per second and then if this ship turns and stuff like it's doing now then it's much more harder to control and I need to stabilize this by being like that 100% horizontal point that up up okay if we get into space that should help with the stability yeah, it looks fine now yep it won't screw up throw it down slightly because it is overheating yeah that's a cool view isn't it Okay, fuel wasted. Oh shit. This didn't happen the first time. But yeah, look how good that is. Uh, yeah, this wasn't as good as the first try I had, but... It's in orbit, at least. Somewhat. <laughs> it's a suborbital. And the music is playing, which means we are in space. So that's good. Um, yeah. <laughs> now it's just twirling around. But yeah, it is a cool design. Oh, that look at that. Oh, wow. Are we fast forwarding? Yes. You know what? Let's see how it will do uh, on the re-entry. And yeah, let's just test that out. Okay, now I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, there it is. So we can see the light. Excellent. That's what these smoggy bays are for. That's the best implementation in the game, guys. Smoggy bays with light. Awesome. Whoever thought of that, props to you. Okay, it looks like there's a hill up ahead. 
Am I wrong? I, I can't tell at all. Unfortunately, I don't have night vision in KSP. Although that would be useful. Come on, land. Land. Okay, this this was a hill. Come on, land. Why are you going so fast? Let me turn the brakes on now. Are we on the ground? Yeah. Oh shit. <gasps> Don't smash. No. Hey, that was pretty good. Yeah, we just lost a little wing there. and Yeah, that's nice. It turned out nice. Okay, next design. Alrighty, this is called the Flying Jumbo Rocket Mark 1. If you press spacebar, it will lift up itself. That's pretty good. It surprised me. Look at that. We are in the air. Awesome. Once you get to a higher altitude, it will lose control. That is inevitable. I've, you know, tried to fix that problem up, but I've been unsuccessful. But yeah, as you can see, it does look like a fairly cool design. Very nice. Should lose control soon. Of course, this is a very heavy design. As you can see, we do have a liquid fuel tank there, uh, one there, and of course this jumbo fuel tank there. Okay, we are higher than expected. That's for sure. It's doing pretty good, actually. I thought this had a few problems, but it turns out it does not. Alright, it does. Look at that. Looky, looky. And I did nothing. I didn't press any keys. SAS did that. Come on, fix up. Let me try and fix it up. I'll press W. Oh, okay, we have, we have to do this manually. How nice! Come on. Don't die on me now. Come on, come on. We are fighting against the atmosphere. And I can't control this anymore. This is lost. Maybe with, with, if we just go with the flow. Yeah, this point downwards or something. Not, even that doesn't help. But yeah, this is alright to play around with while you're on the low part of the atmosphere. But yeah, so try it out yourselves. Come on, point the nose down. Actually, this works out nicely. Let's try and fly backwards. Huh. I've never tried that before. What I'm doing is pressing, holding down W. Ah, yeah, it works. Huh. Flying backwards, who would have thought? Alrighty, this is the very last design known as Jumbo Glider Mark 1. Beware, it it is difficult to lift that up. Right, um so yeah, be cautious. I mean look, we're in the air now. But look how slow it is to change the angle of the ship. It's pretty slow. But it's stable at least in that factor. So we need to Go as high as possible. Alright, and now let's try and turn it. If you can tell, it's a little bit difficult. It's going down as well. I was trying to lift that up again, because it's pointing down. Don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, we're not going to land anywhere near the runway there. That's alright. We are gliding very slowly, I must say. Look at that. Very slowly. This is a good glider. Don't fast forward it. Alright, let's see if we can glide even more. Point the nose up. Yeah, this is pretty good. Why are we turning? <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Just land. Land, I tell ya. At 32.8 meters per second. What's up? Success. We have landed. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, that is the end of Designs of the Week, episode 19. And see you next time. Let's crash this thing.